Reborn in the elf world, as an ordinary researcher, Ashu suddenly unlocked the system and released a mission, task. Conquer Dakota at the Suzuki Conference and win the championship at the Suzuki Conference, completion reward. Karam, for tasks released by the system, Ashu, who had seen the divine beast man displeased in his past life, naturally wouldn't refuse. Now that Xiaoji has just finished challenging the Quartz Conference, there is at least a little over a year left until the Suzuki Conference that Dakdo is participating in. That's enough. If it were a divine beast man, there would be no first level god to rely on and mega evolution to deal with. But if there were a first level god, why don't you try to grab the holy pillar king in front of the divine representative? Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 Qualification Assessment for Search Officers You are listening at NovelFull.audio The City of the Edge of the Shaneo Region, Assessed by the Search Officer on the Battlefield Your written test score is first place, Yashu Jun, truly worthy of being Dr. Yamanashi's assistant. Looking at the handsome and upright black-haired boy in front of her, Jun Sha smiled and praised. However, the most important thing for the search officer is still the elf's combat strength. If you are not qualified in this aspect, then you can only wait for another assessment in six months' time, Yashio Jun. Yashu nodded and took out his pocket ball from his waist. Miss Jun Sha, let's start. The elf ball in her hand had already opened while speaking, and when she saw the elf with a stern expression appearing in front of her, Juncha's eyes flashed with a hint of surprise. It's actually Lucario. Leo Road and Lucario are relatively rare in various regions. Not only that, the intuition that has been generated in the battle for a long time tells Junsha that the strength of this Lucario will never be weak. We need to take it seriously. Junsha muttered to herself, her expression becoming solemn at this moment. She took out the pake ball from her waist and threw it away. The female is armored. Ashu, who noticed the shorter ivory, thought to himself and then spoke. Lucario, trick. Dark light particles appeared around Lucario, while Junsa's side began to attack. Duinjia, earthquake. Interrupt him. As Duinjia was about to lift his legs and step on the ground again, Lucario, who was originally in front of Ashu, suddenly appeared in front of Duinjia like a teleportation. In the surprised eyes of Jun Sha and Duinjia, Lucario raised his hand and punched him. Surprisingly amazing speed, neither Duinjia nor Jun Sha, as a trainer, reacted. And seeing her Duinjia being knocked back by this punch surprised Junsa even more about the strength of Lucario himself. Waveguide Missile In the calm voice, the blue waveguide had already condensed into a spherical shape in the hands of Lucario. Upon seeing the waveguide missile that had already been released flying towards her Duinjia, Jun Sha, who had regained her senses, immediately shouted. Duinjia, 100000 horsepower. The ground attribute energy emitted a earthy yellow glow on Duinjia's body, and then his entire body curled up like a tire and rushed towards the waveguide projectile at high speed. Knowing that the waveguide projectile controlled by the Lucario waveguide was almost impossible to dodge, Junsa, who was confident in her armor defense and strength, decided to confront it head dot on. Even though Kalia used trickery to enhance his special attack in the front, in Junsa's view, it was at most on par with his Duinjia. Boom. However, the fact is that with the sound of explosions, Duinjia, who was rushing towards the Lucario highway, was directly blown up into mid-air. This. When Jun Sha was surprised, Lucario in front of Ashu had already jumped over Duinjia and kicked it down. Due to the weight of Duinjia itself, it caused considerable movement and smashed a large hole in the ground when landing. Even with its sturdy characteristics, it's impossible to stand up again. Ashu looked at the mosquito-repellent eyes in the pit and thought to himself. Yashio Jun, I still underestimated you. After a few seconds of silence, Jun Sha withdrew her armor. But it won't be that easy next. 
The rule for evaluating elf battles is three on three, so Ashu still needs to win over the next two elves of the examiner Junsha. Come out, wind dog. Despite being a wind speed dog that still doesn't have an advantage in terms of attributes, Ashu didn't take in the loop Kaleo. Not only that, Jun Sha also noticed a hint of smile in the clear and beautiful ice blue eyes of the young man in front of her. The look in her eyes gave her the feeling of being looked down upon by Ashu, causing Jun Sha's eyebrows to furrow slightly. Yashio Jun, if you underestimate my wind speed dog, you will suffer a big loss. Please don't misunderstand Miss Jun Sha, because I also have a wind dog. Explanation from Asia Shio he has played against Lucario many times and can be said to be very familiar with each other. Is that so? Jun Sha was somewhat surprised, but at the same time, like the wind dog, she began to be full of fighting spirit. I'm really looking forward to how your Lucario will deal with my wind dog, Ashu Jun, flash charge. The second after the sound fell, the wind dog's body immediately ignited a raging fire, and Jun Sha's attack was not just like this. Amazing speed. At the moment of taking a step, the wind speed dog disappeared in place like a teleportation. However, despite this, there was still no hint of panic in the eyes of Ashu and Lucario. The bone stick was beating haphazardly. As soon as a bone stick about the same height condensed in his hand, Lucario immediately swung it vigorously in front of his body. At the same time, just in the midst of a blazing charge, the wind dog, resembling a giant fireball, appeared in front of Lucario. Just before the wind dog collided with Lucario, it was already firmly hit by the stick and flew backwards. I don't know. Juncha's face was full of disbelief as she was able to hit the wind speed dog in a lightning fast state. It's too slow. Ashu was disappointed in his heart. If his wind dog were to use his incredible speed, he wouldn't even have time to make a bone stick, so he had to dodge first. Quickly cooperate with the bone stick to hit randomly. As soon as Ashu finished speaking, Lucario, who was holding a bone stick, came behind the wind dog that had not yet landed like a teleportation. Like playing baseball, waving the bone stick in his hand hit the massive body of the wind dog into the air. Waveguide Missile Upon seeing the waveguide bomb fly out of Lucario's hand, Junsa immediately shouted. Big characters explode with inflammation. In mid-air, the wind dog endured the pain and adjusted its body, opening its mouth and firing a large flame towards the waveguide bomb. Although the wind speed dog's big character explosion appeared to be superior in terms of momentum, at the moment of collision, the big character flame was easily broken through by Lucario's waveguide projectile. After another loud explosion, the wind speed dog that fell from above completely fainted. There's still the last one left. Chapter 2 The Carom That Can Change Its Form At Will You are listening at Novel Full Audio. At the venue of the search officer's battle assessment, Yashio is facing the last elf of Junsha at this moment. One of the three initial Pokémon trained for newcomers in the Shineo region, the final evolved flame monkey with fire attribute. In terms of attributes, there is also an advantage over Lucario, but in reality, it is overwhelmingly overwhelming. Although the waveguide bomb that broke through the flames of the flame monkey was dodged by him by digging a hole, ASU immediately let Lucario use the waveguide bomb to bombard the ground, directly blasting out the flame monkey that had just penetrated underground. Subsequently, he quickly approached and used his bone stick to hit the flame monkey's head vigorously for three consecutive times, causing him to completely lose consciousness and fall to the ground. I should have been defeated so thoroughly. Jun Sha, who had taken back the flame monkey, sighed inwardly that she, with her B.Level identity as a search officer, had been given three outfits by the candidate Ashia's Lucario, even though her attributes were superior. After feeling a little discouraged, Jun Sha laughed happily again, because it was fortunate for the Divine Alliance to have an outstanding young man like Yashu become a search officer. Yashio Jun, congratulations to you. Thank you. After politely responding, Ashu withdrew the loop and Kaleo turned around and left. 
With Yushu's talent and strength, he may become an A.-level investigator in just one year, making him a very promising young man. With this in mind, Juncha's smile on her face, which looked at Ashu's back, became even more satisfied. I definitely have a sense of justice in my heart if I want to become a prosecutor. Combined with Asia Xiu's exceptional strength and outstanding handsome appearance, it must be said that she was a bit moved at this moment. Wait for Yashio Jun. Miss Jun Sha, is there anything else I can do? When ASU turned around and asked, Jun Sha, who was smiling, quickly walked forward. Let me accompany you to handle the next procedures. Hmm. You're welcome, this is the senior investigator's care for the younger generation. Jun Sha smiled and reached out to pat Yashu's shoulder, while also marveling at Yashu's height in her heart. I only realized up close that Yashio Jun was so tall, much higher than his peers. But Miss Jun Sha, the work you assessed. Don't worry, Yashio Jun, you happen to be the last one. Let's go. Thank you very much. Although it doesn't take much time to be alone, it's always more convenient to have Jun Sha help. They say you don't need to be so polite, following Jun Sha, soon Ashu's search warrant and badge were all obtained one after another. Yashio Jun, from now on, you will be one of our investigators. Come on. I will. After thanking Jun Sha for her help again, Yashio was about to turn around and leave, but she stopped him once again. Yashio Jun, how about we exchange contact information? Seeing Ashu's puzzled expression, Jun Sha immediately explained. Don't misunderstand, this is also a care for the younger generation. If you have my contact information, it would be much more convenient for you to ask about the internal affairs of the search officer. That's right. After exchanging their respective phone numbers, Ashu bid farewell to Jun Sha and left the examination room. Success. Looking at the name of Yashu recorded on the Lotham screen of her phone, Jun Sha was filled with joy at this moment. Hee <laughs> hee. The sudden laughter of the thief startled Jun Sha, who then realized that the girl in charge of handling the search warrant had arrived at her side at some unknown time. Xia Ji Jia, you are indeed attracted to this handsome little guy named Yashio. What are you talking nonsense about? Jun Sha Xiaji immediately brushed her slightly flushed cheeks. I just want to help Yasujin grow better. Is it serious growth? You. Looking at the young girl who immediately ran away and made a face at herself, Junsha Xiaji smiled helplessly after feeling embarrassed and angry. Stop making trouble and go back to work hard. Okay, at the same time, Yashio, who had left the examination room, was walking on the road outside of the city of origin. I haven't wasted these two months' preparation. Ashu looked at the white feather badge representing the E.level inspector in his hand and chuckled lightly. Speaking of which, if the system never moves, I'm afraid I will spend my life in this world as a researcher in a mundane way. At the age of five, Ashu recalled memories of his past life after his parents passed away. But for him, who had never had much ambition in his past life and liked to lie flat, he did not have many special ideas because of it. After being adopted by Dr. Yamanashi, Ashu felt quite good as his research assistant until he heard the mechanical sound ringing in his ear. Host information detected, system started, novice task release. Defeat Dakota at the Suzuki Conference and become the champion of the Suzuki Conference, reward for completion. Karam, able to change form freely, although he didn't know why his system was only starting now, Ashu was still quite happy after calming down. For him, having a golden finger wouldn't do any harm. And the task released by the system is quite interesting to him. The divine beast man Dacto, in his past life, had always been unhappy with the existence of this obvious obstacle to Xiaoji's championship. Besides, he was also curious whether all four of his remaining elves were divine beasts. Therefore, Ashu accepted this task without hesitation. The quartz conference that Xiaoji participated in when the system released the task had just ended, and there was at least a year left until the Suzuki conference with Dakdo began. In Yeshu's view, there was more than enough time to prepare for himself. 
The reward for completing the task is still the Ice Dragon Chieftain Rem, who can transform into flame white and dark forms according to his own will. If he could really get his hands on it, Ashu believed that becoming the strongest in the world would be an easy task. But it's too early to think about these things now. The primary goal is to improve one's own strength first. As he spoke, he had already reached the outskirts of the City of Fate. He saw the elf ball he had taken out open in Yeshu's hand, and in an instant, a huge statue appeared beside him. Bai Jiao, let's go back. Chapter 3 Gift from Dr. Yamanashi You are listening at NovelFull.audio Jinsha Town, outside the courtyard of Dr. Yamanashi's Research Institute Accompanied by the rising strong wind, the statue carrying Ashu descended from the sky. Before carving, you can rest here for a while. After coming down from Bai Jiao with a smile, Ashu walked towards the research institute. When he left the exam room, Ashu sent a message telling Dr. Yamanashi that he had passed the assessment. The latter replied quickly, congratulating him and asking Ashu to come to the research institute before returning home. Yashu, congratulations on becoming a search officer. The blue-haired young man in a white coat who had just entered the door stepped forward and patted Arthur's shoulder to congratulate him. I knew you would definitely pass the assessment. Thank you, Brother Yongzhao. What about doctor? The researcher in front of me, named Yongzhao, is one of Dr. Yamanashi's assistants. We worked together to assist with Dr. Yamanashi's research before he even resigned, so their relationship is quite good. Waiting for you in the laboratory. Speaking of Brother Yongzhao, do you know why the doctor came to me? Regarding Yeshu's inquiry, Yongzhao smiled mysteriously. I can only tell you first that it's a good thing. Go ahead and don't keep the doctor waiting for too long. Yeshu nodded and immediately walked towards the laboratory. Watching the young man walking towards the laboratory, Yongzhao felt very regretful in his heart. Unfortunately, Dr. Yamanashi has said that if Ashu continues to work as a researcher, his academic achievements in the future will definitely not be lower than him. After all, Ashu was the first in the world to discover that the wild rock dog evolved into a dusk-shaped main rock werewolf. When this paper was first published, it shocked the academic community. Why do you suddenly want to become a search officer and travel? At this moment, Ashu had quickly arrived outside Dr. Yamanashi's laboratory, and as the automatic door opened to both sides, an elderly man with gray hair but full of dignity appeared in front of him. Doctor, I'm back. Hmm. With a serious smile on his face, Dr. Yamanashi walked forward and handed two wristbands to Ashu. These are the super stones and key stones that can allow Lucario Mega to evolve. They are my gifts to you, Ashu, for passing the search officer's assessment and embarking on your journey. Doctor, this. Don't say things that are too expensive or unacceptable. Dr. Yamanashi interrupted first. If Lucario can mega evolve, it will be more convenient for you to perform the search officer mission, and I can feel more at ease. After a brief silence, Ashu reached out and took the wristband from Dr. Yamanashi's hand, which was inlaid with a key stone and a super stone. I will take good care of it and use it. Dr. Yamanashi laughed again and looked at Ashu, who was already one head taller than him, in front of him. He couldn't help but recall how he was less than half his height when he first adopted him. Time flies so fast. At this moment, Dr. Yamanashi felt a surge of emotion in his heart. Ashu, who had survived the car accident by chance, no longer had any relatives, so he adopted the child of his own student. But after years of interaction, Dr. Yamanashi has turned obedient and sensible Ashu into his own grandson. In his view, in terms of Yashu's outstanding learning ability, he would definitely become the youngest Pokémon doctor in history. But more than two months ago, Ashu suddenly said he wanted to become a detective and travel around the world, which puzzled Dr. Yamanashi. However, Although he didn't understand why Ashu suddenly had such thoughts, Dr. Yamanashi didn't ask much. Because he knew from the look in Yeshu's eyes that the child was serious. 
Although Dr. Yamanashi had some regrets when he found what he wanted to do, he was more happy for Ashu and decided to fully support him. Asia Shio He reached out and placed his hand on Ashu's shoulder, and Dr. Yamanashi said seriously. Whether it's traveling or carrying out tasks, one should be extra careful. If you need any help, remember to contact me anytime. Yashu nodded and immediately joked with a smile. If I don't remind you in the future, doctor, you also need to be careful not to eat too many sweets. You child. Dr. Yamanashi also laughed. Don't worry, I will control it well. After chatting with Dr. Yamanashi for a while, Ashu, who had left the research institute, flew towards his home in Shuanye town on a statue. Now that Lucario can mega evolve, why don't we go to New Moon Island to see it? Sitting on the back of the statue, Ashu pondered. If we could encounter Darkly, we could use Mega Lucario to defeat and subdue him. Yashu has absolute confidence in the strength of Lucario, who grew up with him. Combined with the improved combat power of Mega's evolution and the ability to counter the evil attribute of Darkly, if he really encounters it on Crescent Island, he has a 10% chance of winning. However, for safety reasons, let Lucario Mega evolve first and then give it a try in battle later. The main concern is that there may be situations like Corny's Lucario in the animation. If one's own Lucario is also controlled by the surge in waveguide power after Mega Evolution and loses his sanity, then one must find a way to solve it. At this moment, Ashu, who felt the falling eagle, regained consciousness from his thoughts and realized that he had reached the sky above his own home. Thank you for your hard work. As he descended from the statue that landed in his yard, Ashu smiled and reached out to gently stroke his head. I must be hungry, I'll go cook now. As soon as he finished speaking, the sudden sound of footsteps made Yashu and Bai Jiao turn their heads at the same time. That was a lovely girl with deep blue and short shoulder hair, walking briskly towards Ashu. Ashu, welcome back. Little Light Chapter 4 Childhood Sweetheart and Childhood Sweetheart You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ashu, welcome home. The blue-haired woman wearing an apron smiled and came to Xiao Guang's side, making Ashu even more surprised. Aunt Kaizi, you're also here. The mother and daughter in front of him were his neighbors, and it was quite surprising for Ashu to learn about this. My two-dot story single family is located next to Xiao Guang's house, and I had a good relationship with Xiao Guang's mother Kaizi before my parents passed away. After her parents passed away unexpectedly, Kaizi also took good care of Yeshu. Previously, when Kaizi heard that he was going on a trip, she even offered to help clean the house. Although Ashu had said there was no need for trouble, both Kaizi and Xiao Guang insisted, so he couldn't resist the mother and daughter and handed over his keys to Kaizi. After years of interaction, whether it's Kaizi or Xiao Guang, Yashu has absolute trust, so giving them the keys naturally gives them peace of mind. But I didn't expect to come today. Ashu thought to himself and looked at Xiao Guang with a smile. I usually pay attention to hygiene at home, so I don't need to clean up so quickly, do I? Hee <laughs> hee, Yashu, this is to surprise you. Surprise. Someone who can say, welcome home, is waiting at home for you to come back. Kaizi explained with a smile. Ashu, how do you feel? Not bad. After pondering for a few seconds, Ashu answered truthfully. Looking back now, it seems like it's the first time I've heard someone say this to me. Right after a proud smile, Xiao Guang held on to Yashu's hand. Yashu, there's more to the surprise than that. Come with me. Wait, I haven't changed my shoes yet. In the kitchen at home, seeing the sumptuous dishes filling the dining table, Ashu was surprised and looked at Kaizi. Aunt Kaizi, why did you suddenly cook so many dishes? Celebrate you becoming a search officer, Arthur. Kaizi naturally said. I have also prepared the elves' lunch. Thank you, Auntie Kaizi, for your hard work. While thanking him, Ashu thought to himself that he probably wouldn't even need to cook such a large table of dishes for dinner. Yashu, I can also help. 
Seeing Xiao Guang's expression of quick praise towards me, Ashu reached out and gently caressed her head. Also, thank you for your hard work. Seeing the happy expression on her daughter's slightly red cheeks made Kaizi couldn't help but laugh. Eat it quickly, otherwise the dishes will be cold. As Asia Xiao had anticipated, due to too many colorful decorations, the three of them couldn't finish eating. I originally planned to leave after lunch, but now it seems like I'll have to wait until tomorrow. Ashu, who placed the remaining dishes in the refrigerator, thought to himself, after all, the taste was very good. It would be a pity to just pour them out like this. By the way, Arthur, do you have a specific plan for this trip? Kaizi, who was helping to wash dishes, suddenly asked. I plan to travel to Shaneo for a period of time first, subdue the elves I want, and then set off to the city. City capital. Kaizi was taken aback, and Xiaoguang couldn't help but ask. Yashu, why do you have to run to such a far place in the city? The evil organization known as the Rocket Team often engages in illegal and criminal activities there, which is of course necessary for me, who is already a search officer. Based on my past life memories, the Rockets were almost always involved in several major events in the urban area. For example, events such as Shirabi, Red Tyrannosaurus Rex, and Juvenile Lokia should not be missed by Ashu who knew these things in advance. If these events can be handled well and Rocket Team members arrested, in addition to a large bonus, the accumulated achievements can quickly elevate one search officer level to A or even S level. At that time, you can freely exchange items in the Alliance such as Super Stones, Z. Pure Crystals, or extremely large wristbands. It was precisely because of these that he decided to abandon the researcher and become a search officer after the system released the task. Being able to arrest someone in advance with memories of their past life can be said to be the most suitable profession for oneself. He is indeed a good child. Feeling the solemn thoughts of Kaizi in Yeshu's words, he immediately looked at his daughter, whose face was full of excitement. Unfortunately, Xiaoguang still has one more year to become a trainer and go on a trip, otherwise he could have taken the opportunity to let Ashu take her on a trip. My daughter naturally has a clear understanding of Ashu's intentions and feelings, and it can be said that she has been in love with him since childhood. But after so many years, Xiaoguang still hasn't confessed. Regarding this, Kaizi can be said to be very distressed in her heart. After bidding farewell to Ashu and returning to her own home, looking at her daughter beside her, Kaizi couldn't help but ask. Xiaoguang, Yashu is going on a trip tomorrow. Aren't you really going to confess your feelings to him? Too suddenly, Xiaoguang, who had just entered the foyer, was stunned for a few seconds, and then his cheeks immediately turned red at a speed visible to the naked eye. Mom, I've already said it and haven't figured it out yet. It's been so long, haven't you made up your mind yet? Confessing is not as easy as that. Seeing her daughter muttering softly, Kaizi couldn't help but remind. But Xiaoguang, if you keep dragging on like this, Ashu will be taken away by other girls. Before, Ashu rarely saw other girls in Dr. Yamanashi's research institute, so she and Xiaoguang didn't have to worry too much. But now Ashu has gone on a trip. Maybe Ashu will come back with his girlfriend next time we meet, and it will be too late. This. Xiaoguang was momentarily speechless, and indeed there is a high probability that what his mother said will happen. Although he grew up together from a young age, Xiaoguang knew that his familiar Asia Xiao had become increasingly handsome, and it was normal for many girls to like him. However, despite this, Xiaoguang, who was worried about being rejected, still didn't dare to confess to Ashu. What if we are really rejected? Can we still maintain our current relationship then? Chapter 5 Agreement with Xiaoguang You are listening at NovelFull.audio Boom! Amidst the loud explosion, accompanied by flying debris and dust calming down, the wind speed dog, the eagle, and the blue versatile monster that had already fainted appeared in front of Ashu. And the Lucario, which has been restored from its mega form to its original state. Thank you for practicing with me. 
After taking out the energy blocks and eating them for his three fallen elves, Ashu came to Lucario. Your performance is even better than I imagined. Lucario, you haven't lost your sanity due to the sudden surge of power. Lucario, who received praise, showed a smug smile at the corner of his mouth, but then Arthur said seriously. But you can't be proud or slack off because of this. In the battle just now, you felt that you are not proficient in controlling Mega's evolved power, right? Lucario nodded, and at the same time, a voice rang out in Ashu's mind. I will train hard to control that strength. Well, take your time. At this moment, it was already sunset, and Ashuban, who was planning to go back and prepare dinner, took back Lucario and the others. After Ashu arrived home, he found that Kaizi and Xiaoguang's mother and daughter were already preparing in the kitchen. Looking at the large table of delicious dishes in front of him, in order not to disappoint their kindness, Ashu had to finish all of them. Well, I'm so full that I don't even need breakfast tomorrow. Yishio, who was trying to resist the feeling of nausea, wanted to go wash the dishes, but was pushed by Kaizi to Xiaoguang's side. Just let me do the dishes, Ashu. Xiaoguang said she wants to talk to you about something. Mom. Seeing Xiaoguang's flustered expression, Ashu pondered for a few seconds before asking. Xiaoguang, how about going for a walk with me? Hey. Seeing that her daughter had not yet reacted, Kaizi reluctantly agreed on her behalf. Remember to come back early. At the doorstep of Yashu's house, watching the two of them disappear, Kaizi smiled and whispered. Sure enough, Ashu has noticed Xiaoguang's thoughts. Is it because he wants to confess to Xiaoguang first? If that's the case, I can be considered relieved. However, the fact is that Kaizi was only half right. Ashu did indeed sense Xiaoguang's intentions, but he was not prepared to do so now. The gentle breeze at night brings the unique scent of tender leaves to Xuanya town, gradually calming down Xiaoguang's previously shy and nervous mood. It seems like it's the first time I've taken a walk with you at night like this. Is that right? Yeah, it's never been like this before. Looking at the black-haired boy beside him, Xiaoguang's thoughts at this moment returned to a long time ago. When I first met Yashu, his constant silence made my young self feel that he must be difficult to get along with. Other children of similar age also share the same idea, so during kindergarten, Ashu would read a book alone. And I play with other children of the same age, and if we continue to develop like this, even the two neighbors should not have much interaction. Until that time, Shi, Tang Hong, and Jian Wu were asked by the teacher to take care of both positive and negative tapping. Because I didn't consider the emotions of the two elves, I chased them like this and received an electric shock, causing my hair to shine brightly. After being at a loss, she was met with ridicule from all her classmates in the classroom. Except for one person, although many years have passed, Xiaoguang still remembers that cold yet clear voice. What's so funny? After finishing the crowd in the classroom, Ashu reached out to tidy up his messy hair, which had been electrocuted, and comforted the frightened on dot time and negative slapping emotions. Looking back now, if it weren't for Yashu, that experience would likely have become a psychological shadow that I couldn't eliminate for a long time. And accompanied by fear of positive and negative tapping. From that time on, Xiaoguang found himself becoming increasingly concerned about Yashu. Xiaoguang. Yashu's voice brought Xiaoguang back to his senses and he realized that he was looking at him with curious eyes at the moment. What do you want to say to me? This. Staring into Ashu's icy blue eyes, Xiaoguang's once calm heart began to tense again. Yashu, I will reach the age to become a trainer in just one year. The unexpected words stunned Ashu and he immediately smiled. I know, that's all I want to say. No. Xiaoguang immediately steps forward. Can you travel with me in the Shineo region then, Ashu? Of course. Without any hesitation, the girl in front of her smiled after a brief surprise. It's agreed. Yashu nodded and hesitated for a few seconds before still speaking up to remind. 
but I have to tell you in advance that traveling with me will definitely not be easy. Why? Faced with the puzzled little light, Arthur shrugged helplessly. After all, my identity is a search officer, and my usual task is to catch elf hunters and the like, so there is a high possibility that I will be targeted by some evil organizations. I'm not afraid. Xiao Guang said seriously. Yashu, I will work hard to improve my strength and not cause you any trouble. Feeling the sincerity in the girl's gaze, Ashu reached out and gently touched her head. Protecting Xiao Guang, you told me it's never a trouble. The plain words made Xiao Guang's heart beat faster at this moment, and he lowered his head and murmured softly. Too cunning. What? Although I am happy to hear you say that, I don't want to be protected by you all the time. Speaking, Xiao Guang lifted his clenched hands and looked full of fighting spirit. I also want to become stronger. Very good determination. New book release, Seeking Flowers, Seeking Reviews, Seeking Collections. Chapter 6 Ali of the Curtain Taoist Hall You are listening at NovelFull.audio The result is still not confessing to Ashu. After listening to what Xiao Guang said, Kaizi looked speechless, realizing that she had missed such a good opportunity again. Don't worry, Mom. Ashu has already agreed to travel with me, and there will definitely be no problem then. Looking at her daughter's confident expression, Kaizi sighed lightly. Xiao Guang, every time you say, no problem, something happens. There's really no problem this time. You and Ashu have been traveling for over a year now, and many things can happen this year. Kaizi wanted to say this, but her intuition told her that even so, her daughter was still likely not willing to confess, so she swallowed the words back. Speaking of which, did Yashu, who is so mature, really not notice Xiao Guang's thoughts? Kaizi thought to herself. At this moment, in the room of Ashu's home, he was looking through the window at Little Light's room. Wait until you become the champion of the Suzuki Awards before responding well to her. I am not disinterested in love myself, but I feel that it is more important now to receive the karam given by the system than in love. The next morning, in the courtyard of Ashu's home, accompanied by a shimmering white light, Ashu jumped onto Bai Jiao's body. Let's go for a walk. At the moment when his wings vibrated downwards, Bai Jiao flew into the air with Asia Xiu. If possible, stay for at least half a month before going to New Moon Island to find Darkly. Yashu is going to the eastern part of the Shineo region in the city of Vale, not to challenge the Vale Dojo to obtain a badge, but to learn from a person in the Dojo. Although it is not the way that requires trainers and elves to fight together as in the special episode of the manga, in Yashu's view, as a search officer, it is still necessary to master some combat skills. If you are skilled, you can quickly deal with the rockets or other evil organizations in the future. And he also really wants to try the combat style in the comic special. Therefore, during the period of preparing for the search officer exam, Asian not only learned about written exam knowledge, but also engaged in high-dot-intensity physical exercise every day. After the significant improvement in physical fitness, the lacking physical skills cultivator quickly thought of someone who could teach him. The owner of the Curtain Taoist Hall, Ali. I remember the episode when Ali appeared, where he practiced with Lucario and directly punched Lucario's waveguide bullet, which left a deep impression on him in his past life. Although Ali may not be strong in elf battles, Ashu believes she is the most suitable candidate for combat. Internally, it's similar to what I remember, like a karate court. As Asia Xiu walked into the Curtain Taoist Hall and muttered to himself, a black belt uncle wearing a karate suit walked up to him. Little brother, are you challenging the Curtain Taoist Hall? Yashu shook his head. I want to find Miss Ali, may I ask if she is there? Ali. Uncle Black Belt was somewhat surprised, and then he looked up and down at Ashu with curious eyes. I want to find Miss Ali to learn fighting. Ashu, who was worried about being misunderstood, immediately explained. Find Ali to study. Uncle Black Belt was even more surprised, but he didn't ask further. Come with me. 
In a room inside the curtain Taoist hall, as soon as Yashu entered, he saw the pink-haired girl wearing a training suit and barefoot. The familiar image, Ashu knew she was the Ali he was looking for. But at this moment, she looked very angry, and in front of Ali was a burly middle-aged man kneeling. Surprisingly, you left the owner's job to go to Game City. Dad, you're so irresponsible. It seems that he is the current owner of the Curtain Taoist Hall, Shinichi. Ashu thought to himself that based on his understanding of the timeline, it would take at least six months for Ali to succeed as the head of the museum. At this moment, the father and daughter in front of him both turned their gaze to Ashu's side. Are you a challenger? Ali apologized slightly to Ashu by bending down. Sorry for keeping you waiting for so long. Ali, this young man is not a challenger, but wants to learn fighting from you. The words of the black belt uncle on the side stunned the father and daughter on the spot, and then Ali's father immediately stood up and came to him. Dad, it's impolite of you to stare at someone like that. Ali quickly reminded and pulled back the father who was staring straight at Ashu. When Yashio wanted to say it was okay, Jenny suddenly laughed. Ha, huh, if you want to get close to Ali, there's no need to make such an excuse. Just say, no, generously. Ha. Huh. The unexpected words stunned Ashu and Ali on the spot. And at this moment, the black belt uncle also nodded. Is that indeed the case? Please don't misunderstand, I really just want to learn fighting. Asia Shio quickly explained. I am very interested in fighting because I heard that Miss Ali is a talented fighting girl, so I want to learn from her. No, no, it's too exaggerated. I'm not a genius. Sorry, Ali quickly denied it, but Jenny beside him burst out laughing. That's right, young man. You have great vision. But soon the smile on Jenny's face faded and became serious. But learning to fight with Ali is not that easy. As for tuition fees, I am already prepared. I didn't mean that. Seeing Yashu take out his bank card from his pocket, Jenny immediately explained. First of all, you have to pass my test. This is the rule of the Curtain Taoist Temple. Dad, when was this set? Ali looked bewildered as he listened. And I just want to learn how to fight with you, there's no need. Cough. After coughing lightly and interrupting Ali's words, Jenny looked at Ashu seriously and asked. How about it, are you willing to accept it? Can you tell me the specific content of the test first? It's simple, just win me in a one dot on point one battle. Dad, this is not easy. Ali couldn't help but say, but ASU nodded calmly. It doesn't sound too difficult. Hmm. Chapter 7 Waveguide Usage You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Is it really not too difficult? Jenny's face darkened. Originally, he had a good impression of this handsome guy, but he didn't expect him to be so arrogant. It seems that you are very confident, young man. Really cold hum. In that case, come with me. Ashia nodded and followed Jenny to the battlefield inside the Curtain Taoist Hall. It seems that Dad is really angry. Ali saw his father's dark face and thought to himself. I hope it won't be too heavy. At this moment, she was already prepared to send her own Lucario to stop her father if he made a heavy move. Go, monster power! Across from Ashu, Shinichi was the first to send out his own Pokémon, and then Ashu also opened the Pokémon ball. Lucario Seeing Lucario's stern gaze in front of Ashu, all three people present, except for Ashu, were taken aback. After that, the corner of Jenny's mouth couldn't stop rising. He and Whaley can be said to be the most familiar with Lucario, and the result of the battle with his daughter Ali's Lucario is that they both win. Sword Dance As Lucario focused, five lightsabers appeared around him. At the same time, Jenny let his strange power attack. Cross cut. The strange force that took a step forward rushed towards Lucario with great strides. As he watched the four crossed hands about to strike the opponent, 
Lucario suddenly let out a loud roar. In this moment, the monster only felt a powerful energy suddenly burst from Lucario, and then involuntarily his entire body was shaken back into mid-air. What? Jenny, Ollie, and Uncle Black Belt both instinctively exclaimed in surprise. That's a waveguide, there's actually such a usage. Ali's expression became solemn. And his Lucario waveguide is very strong. ASU's inspiration for this move came from the battle between Corny, the owner of the Salo Hall in the Carlos region, and her grandfather Coco Bull. Remember, Coco Bull's Lucario used a waveguide to shake off Corin's Lucario waveguide. Because he felt that this move was very effective against close enemies, Ashu instructed his Lucario to practice it. Although it may not be as easy to easily wave like Coco Bull's Lucali, it is still possible to make the waveguide suddenly explode and shake off the opponent in a short period of time as it is now. Quickly cooperate with Yen Hui. As soon as Ashu finished speaking, Lucario's figure disappeared into place. Upon seeing this scene, the one who came to his senses exclaimed loudly. Hurry up and hold on. The light green light transformed into a spherical barrier, enveloping the robust body of the monster. In that moment, Lucario lifted his right foot and kicked towards the monster's head, but blocked it in time. But before he could breathe a sigh of relief, Ashu's calm voice once again reached his ears. Waveguide Missile The Azure Waveguide condensed into a spherical shape in Lucario's hand, and in the next second, it swung directly towards the face of the monster. After only hearing a loud explosion, the monster's power was directly repelled. But Lucario, who was originally in front of him, disappeared, causing a sudden tightness in Jenny's heart. Yen Hui. Weili, behind you, although noticed, the distance at this moment is too far for the monster to dodge. Lift up the right foot where the flying attribute energy is concentrated, and Lucario kicked the monster's power directly into mid-air with a heavy kick. Then he took off at lightning speed and gave another kick to the monster's abdomen on the way down. Boom! After the sound of his massive body falling to the ground, what appeared in front of everyone were the completely unconscious monster and Lucario, who had fallen back to ASU's side. I lost. After a brief silence, Jenny sighed deeply. The speed was too fast, causing the first attack to be unable to counterattack even after being shaken back. After taking out the Pokemon ball to retrieve its monster power, he looked at Ashu and said. Young man, what's your name? I thought he was an arrogant kid, but in reality, I underestimated his strength. Yashu, from Shuangye Town. Yashu also took back Lucario. Master Jini, can I now learn martial arts from Miss Ali? Of course, I won't break my promise. As soon as he spoke, he immediately pulled his daughter to Yeshu's face. Ali, you must teach Ashu with your heart. Ali nodded. Yashio Jun, this is my first time teaching others how to fight. If there is anything inappropriate, please feel free to raise it. Well, please give me more guidance. And you too are both Lucario's trainers, so you can communicate well on a regular basis. Jenny smiled and said. Yashu has strong abilities, and more communication would be beneficial for Ali and her Lucario. If my daughter's elf's combat strength can be further improved, then I can hand over the Curtain Taoist Hall to her in advance. Of course, it would be even better if we could enhance our relationship. I really wanted to, but considering that my daughter is completely clueless in this area, it seems unlikely. So Miss Ali, can we start teaching now? Just call me Ali, you're really impatient, Ashi Jun. Ali smiled and said. Let's go. After the two of them left, Uncle Black Belt walked up to Jenny's side. Master, it seems that you are very satisfied with Brother Ashu. Of course, having such outstanding strength at this age can be said to have an unlimited future. Don't worry, his mind is not pure. Did he intentionally want to approach someone like Ali? The reason why Asia Xiao said he wanted Ali to teach him earlier seems somewhat untenable to Uncle Black Belt. Although Ali is very skilled in fighting, 
he is still too young to have any teaching experience. Normally, if you want to learn fighting, you should look for the owner, Jinny. You don't have to worry about this at all. Jinny's face is full of confidence. A trainer who can be recognized by Lucario is definitely not someone with an unhealthy mind. Chapter 8 What Ollie Worries You are listening at NovelFull.audio Half a month later, by a lake on the outskirts of Weimu City, Ollie and her Masana were meditating in a meditative posture. This is a type of training she usually trains, which can quickly calm her mood and enter a state of mind. However, for some unknown reason today, Ollie felt unable to concentrate. After opening his eyes and sighing softly, Ollie looked at Masana beside him. Sorry Mashana, let's finish today for now. Mashana, floating in mid-air, nodded slowly and then turned into a beam of red light, which was collected back into the elf ball in Ali's hand. Ali. The familiar voice startled Ali, and she immediately stood up and turned around in surprise. Yashu, why did you come? During this period of time, she and Ashu became more familiar with each other, and they no longer respected him as they did at the beginning. I feel like you're not in the right state during today's practice. If you're a bit concerned, come and take a look. Ashu lowered his head as he spoke, and Lee, who noticed his gaze, felt a bit shy. I'm used to it, I feel more comfortable without wearing shoes. Okay. Because he thought that Ali's feet looked pretty, it would be a pity if he injured them without wearing shoes, so he reminded Ali a few times. But since she's already used to it, there's nothing she can do. So if you look worried, is something happening? Yeshu returned to the main matter, but when he saw Ali's hesitant gaze, he said again. If you really don't want to say it. Last night, my dad said he wanted to hand over the curtain Taoist hall to me. The sudden opening of his mouth made Ashu not react for a while, and then his expression was very surprised. So fast. The original timeline for Ali to become the owner of the museum was at least six months later, but she didn't expect to decide to let her inherit it now. Is it because of me that the butterfly effect is caused? Ashu thought to himself, but at this moment, Ali's face was full of distress. Last night, I won against my dad in a match and then said that I was qualified to become the owner. It was really hasty. It seems to have some connection with me. Yashu's expression was somewhat awkward, and during this period, after Ali's combat teaching ended, the two of them would have a fight. Thanks to Ashu's careful guidance, Ali's strength improved rapidly, and her Lucario also mastered the waveguide burst. In Yeshu's opinion, it shouldn't be too difficult for Ali to surpass her father Jenny in strength now, but he didn't expect that after winning, Jenny decided to directly let Ali inherit the position of the museum owner. Although my dad said it's definitely not a problem, I don't even know how to be a good owner. Ali let out a long sigh. Does having strong strength alone qualify me to become a museum owner? Can I showcase my abilities well during battles with challengers, and can I provide appropriate advice to challengers after the battle is over? As soon as he thought of these, Ali felt his heart couldn't calm down. Seeing the troubled look on the girl's face, Ashu laughed. In my opinion, when you are thinking about these things, you have at least developed a sense of responsibility as the owner of the Taoist temple. Hey! If you become the museum owner, Ali, I think you will be more responsible than the Real Museum owner. Ali's cheeks blushed slightly, and just as he was about to say thank you, Yeshu said again. Unfortunately, your inner strength is not strong enough. If you really become the owner, a disastrous defeat may make you give up. For example, in the original plot of the Daoguan battle with Shinji, Ali, who was crushed and completely defeated, had a sudden mental breakdown and did not want to become the owner anymore. I. Ali was about to refute, but when he spoke, his confidence began to diminish. It is indeed possible. So if you really don't want to become the owner now, go and have a good chat with Uncle Jenny. I believe he will listen to your opinions. Okay. Ashu, thank you. After chatting with Ashu, Ali felt much calmer, and his heart felt even warmer because he cared about himself. 
It's okay. Ashu smiled and said. And Ali, I'm leaving the market tomorrow. What? I feel like my fighting skills have reached the desired level in the past half month, so it's time to leave. No, it's not possible. You've only been studying for such a short time, Yeshu. You just. I intended to say it was just an beginner, but Ali quickly realized that the young man in front of him could defeat everyone in the dojo except himself, and even his father was no match. Even if it's me, I can only draw with Ashu. I lost to him when I wasn't in my form today. Yashu, why are you leaving so quickly? Ali walked up to ASU's face and stared at him. Can't we stay a little longer? Feeling the reluctance in the other person's words, Ashu smiled and joked. Ali, are you really reluctant for me to leave? Hmm. Without any hesitation, he nodded and admitted, leaving Ashu unsure of what to say for a moment. Perhaps it's because you always guide me carefully every time, making me and you always have a gentle warmth during wartime. The girl placed her hands on her chest. This is a feeling that I have never had before in wartime with others. I like it this way, so I don't want you to leave so soon, Ashu. Sincere words and eyes moved Yashu's heart at this moment. I'm glad you said that, Ali, but I'm sorry. I've been staying at the Curtain Taoist Hall long enough for me. Is that so? Ali lowered his head in disappointment and saw that Ashu had taken out his phone, Lodum. Just as she was about to ask Ali if she wanted to exchange contact information, she suddenly looked up again. Yashu, can you accompany me back to the dojo? Chapter 9 Target Alien Giant Gold Monster You are listening at NovelFull.audio on the way back to the Curtain Taoist Hall, Ali always casually looked at Yashu beside him. At first, when she heard that Ashu wanted to learn combat skills from herself, she could be said to be very surprised. Although it is not a secret that I have won over my father in combat, I did not expect that someone would come to me for learning because of this. Because it was his first time teaching others, Regardless of whether the other person was really studying hard or not, Ali secretly decided to teach seriously and responsibly. However, Ashu's talent and hard work shocked her. During this half-month period, Asia Xiu's level of hard work was almost as worrying as others would have thought. But it is precisely because of this that Yashu's fighting skills have grown so astonishingly in a short period of time. And the black belt uncles who were defeated by Yashu in the Taoist temple, even his own father Jenny, were all influenced by him. Whether it was in elf battles or combat, he took it a lot more seriously. Thinking about his father no longer frequently going to the game city as before, a smile appeared in Ali's eyes. I also need to change. At this moment, Ali, who had made up her mind, turned her head. Ashu, I've made a decision. Decide what? I will take over the position of the owner of the Curtain Taoist Hall from my father's hands. Yashu stopped and looked at Ali with a puzzled expression in his eyes. Why do you suddenly want to become the owner of the museum? Just like how dad and his team changed after being influenced by you. Ali smiled and said. Watching you go all out like this makes me feel that instead of worrying about what to do, it's better to take action directly. This. Unexpectedly, it was because of my own Asia Shio's momentary stuttering, and then he advised. Although wanting to change is a good thing, don't be impulsive. Ashu, I'm serious. Ali's face was serious. Although I don't know exactly what makes a good owner, I will work hard and even if I go through a painful experience, I won't back down or give up. Feeling the solemnity in the girl's words, Ashu nodded. With this determination, I believe you, Ali, will definitely become an excellent museum owner. Thank you. Looking at Ali with a bright smile, Ashu thought to himself that her mentality of not being beaten by Shinji would collapse this time. Moreover, if Shinji relies solely on a tribute restraint like in the original plot, he cannot defeat Ali. Not long after, the two of them returned to the Curtain Taoist Hall. Seeing his daughter's smiling face at the door, Jin breathed a sigh of relief, and was even more surprised when Ali said he was willing to become the owner. 
I believe it must be Ashu's credit. I really thought about it, but I became increasingly grateful and satisfied with Yashu, but soon it became regretful. Before ASU went to find Ali, he had already told him about leaving tomorrow. In Jinny's opinion, the time spent with Ali was too short. If it were any longer, it would be better. However, after seeing Asia Shio take the initiative to ask Ali if he wanted to exchange contact information, Jinny couldn't help but laugh again. It seems there's a play. It should be here. The next morning, Ashu, who had left the city of Curtains, did not rush to New Moon Island, but instead arrived at a canyon between Tongchao Town and Chiangfeng Town. According to my past life memories, there should be a colorful giant golden monster residing in the canyon here. In the eyes of Ashu, it is natural not to miss out on the shining of the quasi-god. In the animation, Kojiro once wanted to tame the alien giant golden monster here and retrieve Miao Miao and Musashi who had left the rockets, but it was impossible to win with his Manini and Musashi alone. A blue light appeared on ASU, who was talking to himself. In the moment he closed his eyes, the waveguide of various things in the canyon appeared in front of him. The power of waveguide, the same superpower as the animated protagonist Ash. The power displayed in oneself from a young age, whether it is innate or systemic, is not clear to ASU. And it was precisely because of his waveguide that his father, who had passed away unexpectedly, put in a lot of effort to find Leo's Pokémon egg for himself. As for the usage of waveguides, Yeshu and others have already mastered and mastered it proficiently, so it is easy for him to explore like this now. Found it. Ashu smiled as he opened his eyes. There is a giant golden monster in the canyon, it should be it. It seems like I'm lucky. Quickly arrived at the location explored by the waveguide, and saw the huge silver white body below. Ashu opened the elf ball in his hand. Although you have an advantage in attributes, as he spoke, Ashu sat on the wind wind dog. But be careful not to underestimate the other person because of this, that guy won't be so easy to deal with. After the response, the wind dog took a step and jumped lightly with Ashu to the bottom of the canyon. And the giant golden monster, which had already noticed them, had already clasped its two claws together. In the moment wind dog and Ashu landed in front of it, they turned into a silver white beam of light and rushed towards them. However, the wind dog's reaction was quick, and he jumped aside with Ashu to easily dodge. Meeting is like the comet fist, my personality is indeed cruel enough. Ashu, who jumped off the wind dog, looked at the giant golden monster adjusting its position. Don't rush to attack yet, use a sunny day. With a long cry from the wind dog, the sunlight in the sky began to become more intense and scorching. At this moment, the giant golden monster in front of him turned around and fired a cannon directly towards the wind dog. Dodge and charge with a flare. At the same time, the wind dog, who had dodged the attack again, began to ignite flames all over its body as it set off to avoid the command of Ashu on the side. Seeing a blue glow in the eyes of this giant golden monster, he understood that the other party wanted to use mental strength to control the wind speed dog. Ashu immediately commanded. Amazing speed. As soon as the words fell, the running wind speed dog suddenly disappeared into place, which stunned the giant golden monster that had lost its target. And in that moment, the wind speed dog in a flashing charge state had already collided with him. Overheating solves it. Chapter 10 Darkly of Crescent Island You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Accompanied by a strong heat flow gathering in its mouth, the wind dog quickly spewed out a blazing flame, directly igniting the body of the giant golden monster. The restraint of attributes, combined with the enhancement of fire attribute moves by the Qing Tian, caused the giant gold monster to scream in pain. After the flames disappeared, the scorched golden monster had already fallen to the ground. Well done. The praised wind dog was very happy, and at the same time, Ashu threw the high dot level ball in his hand. After accurately hitting the ball, the giant golden monster's silver white body turned into a red light and stood firmly in place without any shaking. 
the first quasi-god to be subdued. Ashu picked up the advanced ball and placed it on his waist. Next, I should go and conquer my first divine beast. Of course, before that, Ashu had to go for lunch with the elves. After recovering all the elves in the elf center, Yasho did not eat here, but went to a famous Lamian noodles shop in the town. The store name is Musashi and Kojiro. Speaking of which, when the three of them in the original plot came, they didn't really think much about this store name. Ashu thought to himself. Shiongzwa, the manager of this Lamian noodles shop, was originally a reserve member of the Rockets. When he was at the Rockets training school, he was a descendant of Musashi and Kojiro. After being comforted by these two people and unforgettable about the taste of Lamian noodles they invited, Shineo opened a Lamian noodles shop in the name of Musashi and Kojiro after returning home. What is the reputation of the Rockets? Let the legendary superhero run to Guandu to join the Rockets. Roast in his heart, Yashu walked into the Lamian noodles shop and a unique fragrance came to his face as soon as he entered the shop. Business is really good. In the Lamian noodles shop, Yashu looked around the crowded seats and the door of the queue began to whisper. Fortunately, I arrived early, otherwise I would have had to queue up. Soon the large portion of lamy and noodles he ordered came to him, and he couldn't wait to take a big mouthful of it. The taste is indeed good, no wonder we can open eleven chain stores in the Shineo area. Unfortunately, there are no chain stores in Shuanya town and Jinsha town, and I will soon be leaving Shinao. It is estimated that I will eat for a long time next time. Next time, bring Xiaoguang to try it. New Moon Island is located to the northwest of Shuemai City, and adjacent islands include Full Moon Island, which is inhabited by Cressilia, as well as Steel Island, which has the remains of the key to the gun. I remember in the original plot, Xiaoji and his companions only went to Steel Island and Full Moon Island. Ashu, flying over Crescent Island, looked down and muttered to himself. New Moon Island has not appeared in the animation, and Darkly only appeared in Mizumai City and Full Moon Island. But in Yeshu's view, since Chrysilla is present on Full Moon Island, it is highly likely that there will also be Darkly on New Moon Island. This island is not small, and if we really want to explore it with a waveguide, it will probably take half a day. Fortunately, Ashu was not without a clue. Based on his past gaming experience, he allowed the beacon to fly over the forest inside the island. That's right, this lake. Upon seeing the lake below, shaped like a crescent moon, Ashu immediately made beacon land by the lake. If there really is Darkly, then this time should be on the island, after all, he is the nightmare god, and if you want to go for activities, you have to wait until at least the evening. With these words, Ashu closed his eyes and began to explore with a waveguide. Soon, he discovered the familiar figure in the lake. Darkly, I know you're right here. Ashu smiled as he opened his eyes, but there was no movement on the calm lake surface. When Yashio wanted Bai Jiao to use a storm to break through the opponent and come out, a pitch black figure slowly rose above the lake. Human, it seems that you have a special power within you. Upon hearing a deep voice in his mind, Ashu nodded and opened the Pokemon Ball. To put it bluntly, I want to win over you, Darkly. With these two elves of yours. Watching the beacon in the newly released Lucario by Yashu's side, Darkly looked very disdainful. No, Lucario is enough. Amidst the conversation, Ashu lifted his right hand, which was wearing a wrist guard. Lucario, Mega Evolution. The key stone and the super stone on Lucario's wrist guard both shone brightly, and in the flash that enveloped Lucario's entire body, his body began to change. A few seconds later, accompanied by the airflow raised by the waveguide, Mega Lucario appeared in front of Dokli with even colder eyes. At this moment, Darkly's heart dared not show any further contempt, instinctively telling him that because at this stage, Lucario's absolute strength was no less than his existence. Waveguide Missile the deep blue waveguide condensed into a spherical shape and flew out of Lucario's hand. Upon seeing this, 
Darkly immediately raised his hand to create a dark purple beam of light. The collision between the waves of evil and the waveguide bomb directly blew out huge splashes of water on the entire lake surface. Afterwards, it was the waveguide projectile that Lucario did not dissipate that directly hit Darkly's body. The restraint of attributes made Darkly's face slightly change, but Ashu understood that due to being offset by the fluctuations of evil, its power was not enough to cause it serious damage. Come again. Seeing Lucario's hand once again gathering the waveguide, Darkly immediately threw a dark black ball of light. Amazing speed. After evading the dark hole like teleportation, Lucario jumped directly in front of Clay and threw the waveguide bomb in his hand onto Darkly's face. There was another explosion, but this time Darkly was blown up and flew directly to the lake. Although this missile move was enough to seriously harm the opponent, Lucario was also about to fall into the lake at this moment, and Darkly, who understood this, naturally wouldn't miss this opportunity. However, just as he was preparing to attack, Lucario actually swung out a blade like energy with his hand, using it to charge directly in front of Darkly. Using vacuum waves can prevent falling into the water. Asia Shio naturally took into account and had a way of coping with the fact that he would fall into the water. It's time to end, close combat. <laughs>